Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you today? Welcome to your 2022 annual overview of predictions. We have the year 2022 adds up to the number six. This is going to be a very positive year. Last year was five, which is a number of strife, struggle, difficulties, challenges. But six is all about building your foundation, having the skills, and also the assets to do so. So when we look at the overall energy, I see big moves that you have made in the last, probably the end of the year. And I see this incredible journey ahead of you. It's going to be an amazing year, but you don't yet see it. And it looks like there's a little bit of overlay in terms of perhaps some anxiety that you may be having. But fear not, Aquarius, you have made stellar choices. When we open the reading, at the beginning of the year, we see working through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. New. You have made a very big change. Scorpio is all about the death of the old that doesn't serve you, reinventing your life and rebirth. And so you've done that. And I see that in the reading. And so though you have fears, you are going to simply work through them. Allow yourself the time to make the adjustment because as you make this adjustment, you are going to have confirmed for you that you have made absolutely the right choices. Let's look at your mystical and magical energy for the year. Well, look at this, 34 abracadabra. You took a spiritual leap of faith and you are taller than the skyscrapers around you. That looks like the Tower of London. You may have a very magical and mystical year that will involve and require you to travel long distances. It looks as though it's something that you're very familiar with. You're very in ho at home in different cultures and different countries and with people who are very different from yourself. It's quite magical. You embrace the year. It is a year of um, serendipity, of good luck, of things coming out of the blue. Stand tall in the power of your choices. We see the Queen of Shadows, and the Queen of Shadows, remember that when we're walking along the street, you know, at different times of the day, our shadow casts itself on the sidewalk differently. When we get the Queen of Shadows, there are certainly going to be times when you feel that the obstacles are bigger than what you can handle. It's just not true. We see you here with this abracadabra energy. There is not anything that you won't be able to conquer. There's nothing in this year ahead that needs to really uh, bring you into the space of too much darkness. Remember, as the day changes, things will change rapidly around you. And the paradigm shift of what you see in front of you will be pretty profound. I believe many of you are probably working in a rapidly changing industry. And when we look at the animal spirit, we have trust the great mystery. So, you know, remember that shadows change moment by moment during the day. Nothing to worry about. Just trust in spirit and trust in the mystery of your journey. When we look at the sacred destiny that you're having, surrender to the journey, release control, go with the flow. You have mastery over the circumstances. As we look at how you present yourself in the world, you have the key, you have the communication skills, you are very clear. People really like how you present yourself. You are well trusted. You what you say is what you are. Who you say you are is what you can be. We see a person with great clarity, with a great ability to move forward very swiftly. The Ace of Swords and Swords also are recommending 
and encouraging you to have partnership with people with Libra energy. You know what you want in partnership. You know what you want in relationship. You're very clear. When we look at the air sign energy of Aquarius, great clarity, genius, wisdom. And when we look at Gemini, you have great communication skills in relationship, in your partnerships. We see the page of pentacles. A partnership is growing slowly. It looks as though there is newness, freshness, a fresh, uh, playful energy in partnership for you this year. It looks as though you're exploring together, you're communicating, and I really like the energy for you. The page of pentacles is Virgo energy. Your partner works very, you know, in a daily way to bring value to your relationship. In the seventh house, it is a partnership that will also be new, most likely in the area of business, of people that you work with and align yourself with. You will meet many new um, people in your life who you will probably form long-term alliances in which there are contracts. Because when we get the page of pentacles energy, it's new ways of earning money, and so a partner may be entering a new career at this time, learning all about it. But when we look at just you as a sole agent for yourself, we see new partnerships in terms of possibly doctors, lawyers, all the people that have a legal responsibility to you. It can be a marriage partner, a love partner. Uh, doctors have to give you good care. It's a legal requirement. A fiduciary financial experts have to give you advice that's good for you. It is re relationships that you're forming in which you have legal accountability to other people. I feel as though you will sign many contracts this year and meet many new people with whom you will partner in various ways. When we look at your money house, the sun card, great happiness, great joy, seeing things from a higher perspective, Leo energy. For any of those who have strong Leo in your chart, you will earn money through creative endeavors. The sun card is a fifth house of self-expression. It's the fifth house of the creative. We see that creatives, uh, projects of your body, of your mind, are going to be a source of great happiness and wealth abundance. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. To me, this says that you have made the right choice, that you have chosen a destiny and a path of earnings that's, that you're still learning about, that you're highly invested in, and people are going to invest in you. A lot of the people that you meet this year are going to take notice of you. They're going to invest time in getting to know you, getting to know all about you. You will work in tandem with a number of partners in building wealth and building value. The Eight of Coins is a great accelerator into long-term financial security. It's Virgo energy. It's being smart with money. It's being careful with your money, but it is also a money that is growing, that you're learning how to grow through your own efforts. So when we look at your partner, we also see them growing economically and learning to create abundance in your partnership. When I look at the third house, and this is your neighborhood, your contracts, uh, your brothers, your sisters, we have the hanged man, Pisces energy. It looks as though right now you are viewing things from a different perspective. You have yet, because I see many of you have moved recently, or you've made dramatic changes in your life with abracadabra, with this new journey that you're on. We see you in this energy of wait and see. You know, the hanged man is all about just looking at things from a different viewpoint in your ninth house of your belief system, of your education. We see the high priestess. You are so talented. You are so ready 
to assume the mantle of authority. The high priestess, when we look at anthropologically, was a leader, a quiet leader, somebody who was very discreet, using your intuition. You may be called upon a little bit this year with the magician energy to play somebody very mystical, very magical, to be in this role in your life of being someone that people call upon, that you're able to teach people, you're able to teach others, but you do things from a, in a very discreet way, you you're not really looking for um, a big splashy public appearance. You are quietly doing the work behind the scenes to some degree uh, in manifesting your future. The Four of Swords is your home life. It's your mother, it's your family, it's your roots, it's your legacy, the legacy that brought you into the world. And what we see here is the Knight of Swords. You are being encouraged to rush forward, clear a path, you have all the tools to do it. You're rushing in, it is Gemini energy. You're rushing in to speak, to make a path, to clear a way for yourself. And look at this, your career shows that it is taking off. The Magician card, Gemini energy, Virgo energy, having all of the tools intellectually and at a practical level to make way, to blaze trails. The Knight of Swords is not shy, really taking a bold approach, moving very quickly on opportunities because you have the foundation to do so. You built this foundation over a period of time. You have great clarity and courage that is going to manifest. Look at the sun card, the magician card, earning money from a career in which you just enjoy the magic and you have you're so well suited to it. You have everything that you need to succeed in a very big way. When we look at the fifth house of creativity, again, we're looking at this sort of performance energy. The nine of cups is eat, drink, be merry, have fun, very public display of having joyfulness, happiness, you know, taking the gamble, winning at the wheel of fortune, basically, to have a community of dear friends, fun, laughter. It also looks as though whatever gambles you've taken, again, gives you cause for celebration. For those of you in the creative arts, you are going to have an amazing, amazing year of success, of relaunching. If this is new for you, which I think it is for most of you, the Ace of Swords, you have the clarity, the magician, you have all the tools, you have the wisdom, you have of the charisma, the power, the pizzazz, the willingness to learn. You have a good partner and you will partner with many new people. But when we look at the sixth house of everyday life, Ace of Pentacles, you have mastered making money. You have mastered life on the mundane. If you have a pet or you know uh, anybody, your health is very robust, very good this year. You're going to actually become physically stronger, physically healthier. The Ace of Pentacles says that you are developing habits that are going to bring you long-term wealth. The Ace of Pentacles will eventually move into the Eight of Pentacles. It speaks to the fact that every day when you put your boots on the ground, you swing your legs out of the bed and slip them into those boots. You are, you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you're doing. You bring so much to the table. When we get the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, people rely on you in ways in which you have really, I don't think you have any understanding how much they need you. Now, we get into one thorny issue, and I, the only card that I'm really not sure about right now is the Seven of Swords energy. Now, this can be interpreted in several ways. The 12th house is hidden challenges, hidden energies, that which you don't see, things that can unravel you. And we see the Seven of Swords. Now, this can be interpreted both from your initiation of winning at all costs. But what I'm seeing here is that there is, I think, 
a subconscious fear that you will not be accepted, that the Seven of Swords means that you may be treated unfairly. The truth of the matter is, is that you could be in situations when you are treated unfairly. Seven of Swords is a snake that's stealing eggs because that's what feeds them. So what I get here is a lot of fear-based energy that you have. So let's look at the El Goliath shadow energy and see what we see and then we will see possibly the best way to handle it. So the Seven of Swords is sometimes somebody really taking advantage. I call it sneaky peed energy. Somebody that may drain you emotionally. But let's look. Three of Swords. Okay. So it does look as though you may have one experience in which you really deserved to have something, to win something. And you may feel that it is taken from you. The Justice card says that you bring Libra energy to the situation. You stay very balanced. You understand that life isn't completely fair. You may lose out to somebody. But Four of Swords says that you have all the power to heal. The Nine of Swords says you're likely to get all up in your head. But look at this, the King of Cups energy. There is a masculine energy around you that has a third eye eye that's watching over you almost like a guardian angel. When we see the King of Cups, we see your mastery over your emotions, that you understand that whatever you're doing may be especially if you're in entertainment or the creative arts, that there's a lot of competition. People sometimes will take advantage, but you have all of this beautiful stability. Scorpio energy says that every day that you get up, you're able to integrate the negative energies easily that you have developed emotionally to such a powerful being that nobody can unravel you for very long. You may have a moment, you may have a day, you may have up to even three months, but after that, nobody can get to you. Let's look and see what we have for surprise energy. Nine of cups, eat, drink, be merry. The fifth house once again. Even if you have a bad experience, it looks like it's quickly over. It looks like you have community, friendship, love, fun. And it really helps you integrate what seems like something and what is something that happened to you that's very unfair. At the end of the day, you're going to chalk it up to a lesson in life. Father of Wands energy, Leo energy again. You are so strong. You Nobody can really defeat you. And we see you bouncing back very quickly. A new opportunity comes in and you move forward swiftly and clearly into a new horizon. So whatever this is behind the scenes, just be mindful. Be mindful of the body language of people around you. You are going to know who or what this situation is. You're going to be able to circumvent, to heal, to come out as a winner, to prevail, and to have other opportunities that will be even better for you. So Aquarius, what an incredible year. I can't wait to hear what happens. I feel as though you are about to have the most incredible year of your life. Just let go, let things unfold. You're in a position of power. The magician on your 10th house is probably the best, most profound energy that will help you transcend into earning money in just the way you've always wanted. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're watching the video from. I love you so much and thanks for a great year. Have a happy 2022. Take care, Aquarius. Bye-bye.